if your business lists products on Google Shopping, I'm going to show you how you can track the traffic which comes from the free Google Shopping listings, also called Surfaces Across Google. Since October 2020, retailers in the UK no longer have to pay for every click on their product listings. The Google Shopping tab is now divided into paid and non-paid zones. At the top and bottom of the page are carousels of sponsored ads, which merchants still pay for, but clicks on everything in between those is now free. You can measure the success of these two product listing types by amending your product URLs with tracking parameters, which will distinguish your free organic shopping traffic from other organic traffic within Google Analytics. To do this, in Google Merchant Center, navigate to your feeds and click on the name of the feed which you want to track. Once in the feed, select the feed rules at the top. Click the blue plus button to add a rule and find the link attribute. Then just click on edit source to confirm the source and scroll down to add modification on the left. Select optimize URL. Here you're going to set each of the parameters which will be seen in the analytics reports. Select set parameter and add the parameter name, not forgetting that you need to type UTM underscore in front of each one. Type in the value Google for the source parameter and click add to move on to the next one. You can use something like surfaces or free listings for the UTM medium value. But bear in mind that on the 14th of December, Google announced that they will, what, were, what is currently called surfaces across Google, will become called free listings. And that will probably happen in the near future. So I'd actually recommend using something other than surfaces for the medium parameter value, as it will shortly no longer be in use. You could use free listings or free Google shopping. Carry on and add a value for the campaign parameter which will identify organic shopping when analysing campaign data by name. You could also add a value for the content parameter if you wanted to be able to see data for this in Google Analytics too. However, it's a lesser used report, so not entirely essential. When you're finished, click OK. On the next page, click Save as Draft at the top of the page. Before your changes go live, you'll then be given the option to either apply, discard or test the changes. If you select test changes, after a few minutes, you will be able to see examples of where your, what your feed changes will look like. Check that the URLs with newly appended parameters look as expected. And then when you're happy, click apply. Now your feed is all set and the following day in Google Analytics, you will be able to see the traffic now broken out into the new source medium. Bear in mind that the new setup only affects data from the time it was created. So historical data will not be shown under the new source medium or campaign reports. It will, however, still be attributed to Google Organic. To make sure your traffic from surfaces is correctly attributed to the organic channel, you can update the default channel grouping within channel settings in Google Analytics. Just take care with this one though, because it alters the data permanently. Thanks for watching.